because when I think about it, the symmetry really doesn't make sense because you always surf as a traverse. You're never really going straight on the wave, flat with two sides in the water at one time. I figure since I rode the flex tail with those whippy ones so much, I figure less of like a stout little twin fin and do more of the reiki ones. <laughs> no, no one's going to school in there. It's like so run down, but I used to be able to check the waves while I was on recess. It was pretty funny. Sixth grade, I surfed during the summertime. I was such a fair weather fan though. I only, um, I would only surf when the water was warm and the winter was like too big and scary for me. There's full on bike traffic in, on Coast Highway in Southern California. Like the arrows with the bike signals and on the weekends, there's just the guys who are like as close to the second lane as possible. It's so fucking annoying. I hate them. I hate bikers, but <laughs> when I'm on, when I'm on my bike, it's a different story. I'm like running stop signs and shit. If you can't beat them, join them. Can I get a breakfast burrito? Uh, bacon? To go? That's all? That's it. 567. I realized I ate a burrito here in the morning like six days in a row last week. Yeah, the house is a historic landmark. It was built to be a bed and breakfast for the train station back in the day. My favorite fact about it is that it doubled the population of Encinitas when the people moved here from 11 to 22. Oh, have we fed that thing in like a week? Look at it, it's so fucking starving, it's begging everybody. Watch this, it's the psychoest fish for food. Grind time, little buddy. I got a picture of Jerry Lopez Cheers. in my room. It's so cool, look at his foot position on his board, it's so killer. His toes are like monkeyed around the tail. And the style's obviously perfect. All this art's like stuff I did in painting class when I was a grom. Borderline fire worthy. In my opinion, I wanted to have a bonfire with a bunch of them, but it's because I was psyched on just building canvases or doing anything like that. Had the air tools. I got into surfboard building because I airbrushed, so everything kind of came from painting and art class at school. So stay in school, kids. <laughs> Killing it. This is the little garden patch. Got the handy dandy lemon tree. When you forget to buy lemons, they're right there. Wild cherry tomatoes right here. Paintings all around back here. You know, it's like down here, nothing really surprises me anymore. I kind of like being caught off guard by the ocean and being afraid of it and stuff. I really like being out in the water alone too. This guy right here, it's a sculpture that some guy was commissioned for an outrageous amount of money to build, I think. And he built a guy doing a pretty odd looking turn. Slow-mo video game posture. When they first put it up, everyone fucking hated it so much, but then everyone just started dressing it up and now it's like the full on staple piece of Cardiff. It's pretty classic. San Diego landmark, Cardiff Cook, and a not so familiar dance. <laughs> the coop, which is constantly changing up its look, depending on what's going on in the community, has been dressed up as a clown, an artist, and sometimes real elaborate get-ups like this Jaws. No? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I made that board for them and traded free pizza for like four years. lunch and a show you get to watch all the poodles get groomed. I think that's my spirit animal.
Boards up on the wall and the ceiling are just broken, dismembered, or boards I don't really want to ride anymore because I'm kind of too embarrassed to sell a lot of them because they're not going to work for someone who's like, yeah, I just want to pick up a fun board to ride and they're kind of mean more to me as something I can look back on and be like, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That one right there in the middle, the purple one, was the first asymmetric I ever did. That's the one that I wrote a lot in Indo in the Vulcan little thing they put out of me surfing in Indo. So that's like, sweet. For board building and for what I'm trying to do, it's the best place to be. Like, I mean, there's good and bad that come with people. It's convenience, you know? There's. I want to build boards and the resources down here are incredible, it's second to none really. Like this little valley where I have my shop is just like the best place in the world to build surfboards in my opinion.